what is up YouTube? All right, so today we're gonna show you the basics of a 700 motor or really any big block player. So that would be like uh, 98, 99, uh, 600, 97 to 05, 700. And then I think 800 started in 2000 and then all the way to 05 as well. But they're all basically the same. The only big difference is the later models have exhaust valves and the ignition is different. But uh, yeah, we're gonna show you, this is strictly for people that have never had one of these motors apart and are curious as to what actually goes on inside a motor on their snow machine. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys it. So this is your typical big block 700 Polaris twin. Um, this is the 97 motor that was in this and blew up and I know now exactly what happened But we'll get to that here in a minute. So you have your cylinder head. This is the purple head 97 only after that they went to a red head like what's on that one But uh, typically that's what a dome will look like. That's uh, well, What they shouldn't look like um, You have your crankcases You have lower and an upper, they have a, a split right here, okay? So that comes apart. Your crank sits inside of there and it rotates, which is connected to your piston through your connecting rod here, okay? So essentially this wrist pin and bearing go inside of here and that goes up and down, right? So that's what makes your piston go up and down. Uh, this is a junk piston, but it's good for demonstration. This thing is just hammered, but uh, yeah, you got your wrist pin bearing, your wrist pin, your piston, your upper and lower rings, all that good stuff would sit on top of here. This is your cylinder, also junk, but good for demonstrational purposes. Um, pretty much you have your, your intake port and your exhaust port and of course some of your transfer ports and whatnot. Uh, yeah, just think of it as a big vacuum, sucks air in. Goes in here, gets compressed, ignited, blown out the exhaust. Pretty basic. Those slide right off the cases. That is what a cylinder for a two-stroke 700 looks like. I'm gonna set that over here. <clears throat> okay, here you have your car boots. Inside of there, you have reeds, which really look like this. That is your reed cage and reed pedals. These generally you want to have nice, flat, sit against the cage and are not cracked, no edges are broke off, anything like that. This is a stock unit here, not aftermarket. <coughs> you have your coolant jackets in the cases, which go into this tube, which I, I guess you could call it a coolant manifold. Uh, this would be plumbed into this right here on your coolant pump because this is normally connected to the side of your cases. I have it sitting here, kind of set up a little bit just for demonstrational use so you can see it. Uh, oh, see that? This thing's totally locked up. Just trying to get it out of the way here. All right, so this little notch right here actually drives your oil pump and this big gear goes into a shaft, which turns into a pillar on the backside. I don't have one of these separated right now, and I don't want to open this one up. But just imagine a plastic impeller that spins and moves your coolant. So what turns all of this is this basically like a vacuum belt, which is run, this is turned by your recoil. That's how you start your sled. But it's run by this, which is bolted to your magneto. Blow it. And that is spun by the crankshaft as well. That would be this side, and that's why you have your Woodruff key here. That little key actually goes in that slot there, and that spins all of this. So as it spins the magneto, it turns this gear, turns the belt, turns the coolant and oil pump belt, or pumps. So this thing, very important. It's good to check the condition of them. I like to bend them backwards, make sure it's not wore out or frayed. There's also a width measurement. I don't remember that off the top of my head. So these are getting further into it. You have your magneto. Essentially what this is, 
is magnets, right? That's the name. This spins on the crank, and as it spins on the crank, it passes all over all these little coils. This is your stator. This is what creates the electricity for your spark, your lights, all that good stuff. That all comes from this, because as these magnets pass over, that's what makes your electricity, right? So when anytime someone says check your stator, this is what they're talking about. You can also adjust this to set your timing a little bit, right? So that's kind of cool thing to learn. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the general breakdown of a motor. There's really not a whole lot to it, but uh, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these cases apart. So you can look down inside of there. It's already unbolted and all that. You can still see I haven't cleaned it. There's still chunks of bearing and piston all over inside of this. So it's just no stuff. <clears throat> this is where the crank bearings would ride. So all those bearings right there would be sitting on the outer edge here. The bearings in the middle obviously sit here in the middle and those holes are for uh, oiling. Those bearings would be over here. And same way on both ends. Pretty cool, huh? But that's the super basic breakdown as to a big block Polaris engine. Not a lot to them.